Alonzo, right here in the front. Hey. Uh, we can see uh, the physical damage you, uh, you took in that fight. So I guess physically, how are you feeling after a fight like that against a uh, dozen Jacoby? Man, uh, that, I, I'm loving it. Uh, but yeah, you know, that, that fight uh, was fuck, It was crazy, man, overall. Uh, obviously, like, we saw you get clipped in there. You clipped him. Was there any moment in there that, that you, were, you felt you were in danger? Like, you know, you had to shake the cobwebs out in there. No, no, I mean, he hit me fucking hard, man. I, let me not get that uh, wrong. Um, but uh, as far as, like, the decision, um, I felt like it was split me because I was able to hurt him. Um, but given the, the whole nature of the fight, it, it was a doozy. Just from watching, I mean, you, you know better than us, but it just seems like he was finding a lot of success with, with volume, but you, it seems like every time you touched him, he would react and he would, you know, he, you dropped him a few times against the fence. Did you feel like that in there, that if you could just get through the sheer volume he was throwing, you just had to touch him a couple times and he, he, he would start to feel the damage? Definitely, man. Uh, I know he's a veteran as far as, like, kickboxing and now in MMA. So as far as, like, his style, I know he's, like, I'm going to zap him, touch him, touch him, and that's how I win the fight. So I know going into that fight, I have to really bring it to him. Obviously, he's known for just, just technical uh, kickboxing ability. Not a lot. doesn't leave a lot of openings uh, for people to take advantage of. So uh, were you confident that you had done enough preparation to kind of get, like, create those openings for yourself, or did you know that Dustin would leave himself open at certain moments? Now, when you say preparation, you mean like leading up to the fight or uh, while I was fighting? Probably both, honestly. Okay, because preparation leading up to the fight, uh, a, lot of, a lot of issues, rolled ankle, <laughs> it's just issues with me. But as far as like getting into the fight, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I knew I, had, I have the, the power to put him down. So <laughs> that's what I was banking on. So what else happens in camp leading up to this that made it so difficult? Shit, man, you know, life, man. Uh, you know, just injuries and then that stopping me or changing the course of my training. Um, but shit, man, that was a great fight. But when you say life, it was all physical injuries or was it like there other stuff outside of camp that affected yeah. I mean, life, you know, uh, but yeah, definitely physical. Um, and then, yeah, being away from the family for, you know, six to eight, eight weeks, that's always hard for me. Uh, did you happen to see the fight before yours, the Iran? Uh, Man, yeah, and when they were fighting, I said, how the hell am I going to outdo that? That was a great fight, so right? That was going to be my next question. A lot of people online are saying, like, well, it's just a bummer that you guys had to, like, follow that up because a lot of people are saying, like, the Irene fight is one of the best fights they've ever seen. But uh, I'm I, curious. Yes. Shit, I agree, man. To the fans, to the people, yeah, that was a great fight. And, and me, I was thinking, like, you know, I'm a, I'll try to match it, but most likely, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to try to put him down. But you've you seen Cody. He's tough, man. So... Uh, what do you want next for your career? I know, obviously, I'm sure you want to take a little bit of time off after a fight like that, but uh, when do you want to get back in there, I guess? Yeah, whenever, man. I'm just going to rest up, you know, get back to work, train, and uh, keep, keep at it. Right on. Lonzo, right over here. What's up? Uh, just uh, want to get it from your point of view. You're in there. You're in a banger with another powerful guy like uh, Dustin. I mean, just what goes through your mind, you know, 15 minutes of that and having to just overcome it when you're in the cage? Shit, man. Uh, knowing that dude's a striker, and that's Dustin. He's a veteran. Um, yeah, I was uh, on, on edge. So uh, just going to that fight, I was like, all right, no, no mistakes or no big, big mistakes. All right. He'll definitely shut it out. So, um, yeah, approaching that fight, I know, or I knew, like, you know, um, I, I can't have him zap me too much. Um, and ultimately, I got to land the power somewhere. And, and it worked. Daniel Cormier, I don't know if you've been told this yet, but on the commentary, you said, you know, when you look like me and Alonzo, you think you could put down anybody. I'm just wondering, what are you, what's your reaction to that comment from DC? Yeah, yeah, I agree. You know, we, we're not 6'4". <laughs> so as far as like uh, the body type, I, I know like it's only so much someone can keep zapping you in the face. But eventually, when you get inside, sh yeah, I should be able to put you down. <laughs> but you seen Cody, uh, he, he he wasn't letting me. So uh, good, good good job to him. Thank you. Done. All right. Thank y'all.